what a day it was am i right market upar or niche and it gives somewhere an impression that you don't need to go to ferrari world to enjoy the roller coaster ride and those who don't want to enjoy the roller coaster ride should not look at the market because dekh ke tension hota hai am i right daily you look at this uh, and sometimes my job is such that if we have some buying and selling in our pms then i am forced to look at the market to decide how aggressively we need to buy or how aggressively we need to sell so you know today morning when we had some buy and sell i told our dealer that little aggressive in terms of selling but gold extremely slow when it comes to the buying and market did open with the negative and then of course uh, it, it bounced back kind of a stuff so that's what we need. i've been forced to do that otherwise i don't enjoy looking at the market on a daily basis but anyway uh, before i begin this uh, webinar uh, as you know that i had promised in my previous webinar when i did the manifesto on bjp and there was a views and counter views and i promised that i since we had to extend that webinar little longer i promised that the question that we could not take in the that webinar we will carry forward that uh, in this but before that there are interesting other data points also i want to discuss with you and then we'll open the floor for question answer but before that disclaimer that this webinar is only to enhance your understanding about the equity market please consult your financial advisor before buying or selling any stock past performance is no indicator of future returns and investment securities market are subject to market risk what this you know how is the market you know i think this geopolitical tension is there and i think whether we like it or can we make it full screen so that people can the geopolitical tension is basically uh, is 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 getting making market now was and unfortunately no one has a clear cut handle on what's going to happen kabhi iran kuch kar lega kabhi russia kuch kar lega and 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 i think we need to live with this uh, uh, volatility for quite some time in fact someone was asking me will this geopolitical situation will go away in 2024 and i was making him understand it forget about 2024 even if i have to discuss with you in 2034 we will have a geopolitical situation in one part or other parts of the world so i think it's becoming a part and parcel of our daily life now yes it will make market volatile on few days but so be it because we need to live with that uh, that's a problem at every passing day one thing which is becoming very certain the rate cuts are very difficult to come by it will be far and few in terms of rate cuts if you are observing what's happening in the us market the two year treasury yield has gone to 5% very close to 5% even if you look at that mortgage rate has gone above uh, i think 7% so things are becoming uh, a little difficult on the rate cut and if there are rate cuts the price earning for equity can go up and vice versa so should in should equity as an asset class deserve to kind get that kind of a premium when the rate of interest start moving up in fact the rate of interest moving up and the pe are inversely correlated so again the question comes on the the valuation now since we are in the result season none of the results have been really so exciting that it can lift the overall mood we have seen that happening with tcs numbers we have seen that with happening with infosys numbers we have seen that happening with wipro number i think tomorrow hdfc bank is going to come out with the numbers and we'll get some clarity about how do they see the loan growth book and so on and so forth but till now there is nothing as an exciting that can lift the market today was the first phase of election got over i don't have a handle on what percentage of voting took place let me just see if i can get some data on that 
सो आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग इट कुछ हुआ कि नहीं हुआ फर्स्ट फेज सिक्सटी परसेंट वॉट आउट और दैट्स ए वेरी गुड डेटा ओके सिक्सटी इज़ अ गुड डेटा एंड एनी थिंग अबो फिफ्टी फाइव आई बिलीव इज ए इज ए इज अ डिसेंट डेटा आई डोंट नो वॉट वॉज द सेम इन द टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इलेक्शन सो वी कैन कंपेयर एप्पल टू एप्पल बट सिक्सटी परसेंट ओवरऑल डजेंट लुक वेरी बैड दिस इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ सेट्स वन जीरो टू नो अदर फेज विल हैव मोर देन हंड्रेड सेट्स सो इट स्टार्टेड वन जीरो फोर सेट्स इफ आई मेमरी सर्विस में राइट एंड दैट इवेंट इज ओवर फोर्थ जून अगेन वील ऑल कम टू नो वॉट इज हैपनिंग एंड विल डिस्कस दैट इन इन अवर वेबिनार इन द नियर फ्यूचर ना इफ यू लुक एट द मार्केट ओवरऑल वी डू बिलीव दैट अपसाइड लुक्स टू बी वेरी वेरी लिमिटेड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम but there is a risk to the downside why is that so because of geopolitical tension because of rate cut diminishing uh, uh, and the valuations are very very rich uh, uh, so that basically creates a limited upside potential but downside risk is definitely there and of course uh, uh, we will all wait for election result to get a clarity on what's happening there if you look at the market over the last one week small cap was down by 1% sensex was down by 1.6 nifty upon 1.7 and mid cap 2.2 uh, mid cap has been holding quite steady but it declined uh, much but much much must much as the faster pace in last one week of course realty index is down psu bank is down nifty it is down and bank nifty is also down in other words you can see all c of ratings only uh, market is not a very great week last one week but that's the nature of the market kabhi khushi kabhi gham am i right and if you look at the ytd uh, somewhere uh, mid cap continues to be the the best performing among small uh, and the large cap but having said that fmcg index is down by 7% it is down by 6% bank nifty is down by 1.5 and overall market has gone nowhere 1.9 and 1.2% so overall market has gone nowhere in 2024 if i have to say so why it's hardly any gain kind of a stuff having said that fis have turned negative uh, which i had predicted also when the fis was positive in the month of april first week i did see that i did predict that fis eventually in april will be negative and that's what it is basically coming out to be 5000 crore 5000 crore a negative by the fis result season has that so let's let's look at what happened for the full year because march is also a full year for the many corporates tcs top line grew by 7% bottom line grew by 9% infosys top line grew by 4.7% bottom this is for the full year yeah? don't get confused with the march quarter wipro so while tcs and infosys both reported top line and bottom line growth Wipro has basically not only reported decline in top line but also decline in bottom line. So it's a with not a very uh, happy scenario there, and I think that's one of the reason we see a churn happening at the top level. Tata Communication forty six percent decline in the profit despite top line moving up by eighteen uh, percent. Anand Ratri well Angel Angel has come out with the good set of numbers and what basically they predicted also. So they keep seeing uh, almost nine lakh or more than nine lakh kind of a uh, uh, monthly addition to their uh, client list. So they sounded very very positive in terms of their this. But of course, the, while top line grew by forty two percent, the bottom line grew only by twenty six per twenty six twenty seven percent. The first quarter numbers may not be so great purely because they have basically one of the sponsors in uh, in IPL match and they are going to basically write down. that cost in the first quarter itself so in other words uh, we will not see that numbers very good but on the other hand icci securities 47 48% and 51% growth in bottom line uh, remember icci is, is icci is going to get merged with icci bank so maybe going forward we may not be able to see the numbers as a uh, in a part of the uh, uh, in, in independent entity crisil which closes its accounts december so the we have taken trailing 12 months 10.4% uh, growth hdfc life 15.1 and icici lombard 11% so these are the numbers coming out with us and then other companies like tv 18 broadcast moved from profit to loss 
okay uh, network 18 again uh, uh, the the losses they've increased the losses uh, this one transformers and rectified improved but just dial came out with a very good set of numbers 123 percent increase and bajaj auto i think management continues to believe that they'll be able to grow faster than the industry so if two billion industry is going to grow at uh, seven to eight percent bajaj auto plans to or intends to grow in the double digit and hindustan zinc 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 seen that decline in net profit by almost 26 this for the full year okay now coming back to our where we left uh, the last webinar about this and someone asked me and i said post probably there is a possibility that congress must be contesting less number of said than what it has been contesting so till still as we speak there is no clarity about how many seats Congress is going to contest in this election, even though the first phase of election is over. Am I because still negotiations are happening with the alliance partners. What has come and you know, I did webinar on Tuesday. So Tuesday ko konsa din tha? Okay, I'll, uh, uh, you know, Tuesday was a uh, 16th April. And I just passed because at that point of time, I was not having any data that how many states uh, Congress may be contesting and I don't think they are basically aiming for the majority anyway. On 17th April Times of India and this data I have taken from Times of India. On 17th April Times of India published concurring what I have stated on Tuesday that is on 16th April that Congress will be contesting the lowest ever states in the history of Indian Lok Sabha election. As per the number right now, 336. It was 500, then it started coming down to between 400 to 500, now only 336. Now assume that, okay, this is all the probability we are talking about, okay. If you look at the what number of states, if it fights for 100 states, how many states is normally win on that, based on that. So if you look at it, the best case scenario is 49%. In other words, if they fight for 100 seats, they will win 49 seats. The worst has been in a single digit in last two elections. So if I have to take a recency bias, the ratio comes out to near about 10 to 12 percent. If I have to multiply that 10 to 12 percent, 336, it gives near about 50 seats or so. But let's not be pessimistic so much because then you will say I am little uh, pro BJP and anti Congress and so on and so forth. So I don't want to go. I assume that they will win 49% of what they basically, that's the best case scenario. Am I look at it? This is the best case scenario. So if they are contesting 330, which I'm again is an assumption, but I assume the 330 seats. The best case scenario Congress can have is near about 160, 165 seats. These are all assumptions. So I can go 100% wrong. Please pardon me if I go wrong. I am looking at all the possibility, probability. Am I right? Now you need 272 seats to win the, to form the government. Of course, then you have to do an alliance partner. Now with 165 seats, you need almost more than 100 seats uh, from the alliance partners to form a government. I am giving you the right now probability of this one. Now, no party can basically put his manifesto or his put his agenda to work. Why? Because what is your agenda? Very different agenda of different. So if you look at India as an alliance or not come out with the common manifesto. Each political party, that is Congress has come out with his own manifesto, TMC has come out with his own manifesto, so and so forth. There is no kind of a manifesto which says it's a India manifesto. That's a India is an alliance, I'm saying, block. Am I right? And hence, if I have to really make a, 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 a presentation on that, what should I make a presentation in front of you? Because you people accuse me, some of you, not all, that I'm pro-BJP. But because many people have any manifesto in India block ka, can I can come in front of you and that's why I said there will be a min common minimum program. And common minimum program can become a guiding force in case if Congress 
because with the help of its alliance partners is able to form the government so when you don't have how can you make uh, you can't produce something out of the thin air am i right i am not a magician and that's the reason i have not talked about the manifesto of the other political party these are i'm presenting hard facts in front of you now choice is ours am i right whether we want to accept these numbers or we want to discard it there's nothing wrong with that but my job is to give you the data and analysis based on the data and and then i'm open for that so with this let's open to so, amir as we promise we need to honor our promise the question that we could not take up on tuesday webinar relating to the manifesto we'll start with those questions and then we'll take a question that has come today and that that's how we'll close it is it clear okay uh, brigades uh, my compliment on touching the other way sensitive topic of political party manifesto the main concern remains the massive gap between the intention and implementation the fine difference between the prudence and the pro prodigality many metro uh, rails and vande mataram train what that is vande bharat trains have become a loss making proposition due to lack of acquisite passenger road load like was solar power initiative is very but uh, but import of solar panels much cheaper and yet we are giving pli to inefficient manufacture all these are massive drain on exchequer your valued comment please so durgesh ji your observations are right sometimes you know to when uh, you start a business like for example netflix which came out with the numbers yesterday so if you look at the netflix initially they were losing money isn't it and once it was a part of that fang in the us so it's a, it's a, it's a strategy kind of a stuff that yes today by running these trains or by running solar we may be incurring losses it is an exchequer but what happens because of that you are creating an ecosystem that eventually will make india self sufficient so if you apply this logic okay then no country should produce anything because sometimes the importing is much cheaper than producing in house if you look at what's happening in the us us basically encouraging giving subsidy for people to manufacture chips why are they doing that if you look at the nippon steel wanted to buy the us steel and there's a lot of un cry in the us so sometimes you know the 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 the, the, the to run the country there are various dynamics that comes into play it's not only otherwise so if china can import so cheaply why do we need to have industry here let's import everything from china but then we will not have employment we where would this basically and we are dependent so much and when we realize when you depend on some country what happens if there is the, the, the equation becomes little uh, difficult so i think it's a very thoughtful process not only from the government even by the corporate does it when jio launch its mobile service reliance launches jio mobile service they were giving free of cost for almost a year they did not make money i am right it's a part of said that time someone would have argued are queue kar raha hai paisa ja raha hai so i think it's a more thoughtful process and and i think it's needed also especially when people want to remain atmanirbhar and atmanirbhar is not a slogan only in india now you happen to you go to the the european union you go to the the, the us also the developed countries are saying that we can't depend on so much on other countries if something has to go wrong and especially when supply chain goes for a toss you are basically putting at a great risk and europe realized very badly when russia decided to cut off the gas and so on and so forth so i think so that there is a clear cut uh, 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 what we call thought process everyone want to ensure that they boost and even if it amounts to be drain on the exchequer so be it because it's in, in the interest of the nation so i don't think it's and of course there is one more thing you said there game between the intention and implementation that always be there okay durgesh ji there is one very famous saying in gujarati uh, by poet narbad and and pardon me and of course i'll translate that into english also ke nisan chup maaf nahi maaf nichu nisan i again repeat nisan chup maaf 
नहीं माफ नीचू निशान वॉट दिस बेसिकली द पॉइंट वॉन्टेड टू से एम हाई एंड इफ यू मिस इट इज फाइन बट इट इज अ क्राइम टू एम लो ओनली एंड दैट विल यू ऑलवेज बी दिस यू नो यू ऑलवेज डिजायर टू बेसिकली ग्रो एंड दैट्स वॉट यू ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग बिग समाइम यू आर सक्सेसफुल समटाइम यू आर नॉट सक्सेसफुल आई हैव नॉट कम कम ग्रोज एनी सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस मैन ऑल्सो इन द वर्ल्ड वे एम लो एंड सक्सेसफुल यू ऑलवेज हैव टू एम लिटल when amazon started lot of people criticize him when netflix started lot of people criticize him when microsoft apple today morning we are having discussion during lunch time and when apple steve job wanted to make uh, uh, the, the the laptop he said was how many people want it because those days the computer was only for the few enterprises it, it was not supposed to be meant for the the common man you and me and wala pagal aadmi ke manufacture kya karega kya so that's how the things happens so If you aim high, is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. A uh, manifesto talks about pipe gas to each household. I think it will improve the prospect of gas supply company. You are absolutely right. It will also increase the prospects of the company that supply pipes to transmit the gas. so you know our the whole objective of doing manifesto discussion was only to understand which sectors will do well we have no political agenda there we wanted to in case if this is going to happen which company will get benefit out of that which sector will get benefit out of that you are absolutely right the dot on sir uh, it should benefit those companies Uh, Raghu is saying, hasn't the market already built in the VJB victory and implementation of manifesto in the downward valuation? As of that, it emphasizes uh, emphasizes on the chosen sector. Where are the gaps now available for taking advantage? So, in a way, to some extent, market has taken uh, uh, taken the note of that. Yes, uh, that this is going to happen. If this is going to happen, this sector will get benefit. If this sector benefit. let's go ahead to that but that's in temporarily what i said in my presentation also k any government that will come that government is there for 5 years it's not going to be there for 6 months 1 year or so and hence even if you decide to enter in some of the sectors that we discussed about whether it's for defense whether it's for railway like someone said it's for gas sector ev that you know all ethanol blending program these are going to be theme going to play out not for one year two year but they are going to theme going to play out for five years and if you have a little longer term horizon on that horizon still you will make a decent returns on those sectors that's what the limited point i wanted to convey in that presentation a so kissing two days that is he's talking to uh, i think tuesday webinar you know? this question we are picking up from the tuesday webinar dedicated to bjp minister are you going to conduct similar webinar on manifesto on opposition parties there may also be some points of our interest ashok ji we will do it once we have a common minimum program from the all alliance partners uh, as i explained in my uh, presentation today is that congress on its own can get maximum 160 170 seats they would need 272 seats to form a government so that means they need to be and the congress manifesto can be cannot be a manifesto for the other alliance partners they will say no we are not uh, 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 going with that because that happened if you remember in 2004 and 2009 there was a common minimum program with the all alliance partner uh, along with the congress party with other and something similar will happen so what i'll do ashok ji i will do it once we have the election result out And if the election result there is a uh, the the Congress and its allies comes out with the the victory, they will announce the common minimum program, and will then we will discuss on that. Okay, based on that common minimum program, which sector looks very promising? Can we have the next question, please? Ajay Gupta, the webinar today, 16, gives a sense of feeling that you are using the platform as a propaganda channel for BJP, which is deplorable because you did not speak a single word when other parties 
Okay, list that manifesto. I'm confused about your channel being an investment stock market platform. Any amount of statement during webinar that is a popular demand, etc. Hold no water. Gupta sir, you are entitled to form an opinion. This is democratic country, and there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, you know, you are entitled to form an opinion. I again reiterate. There is no political agenda. Did I say you vote for so and so political party? I did not say. I said if BJP, if BJP comes to the power, which looks more probability as we speak, which are the sectors that going to get formed, which going to get benefit out of that? There was no kind of a political agenda anywhere. I am little surprised to know that, sir. Why did you get that political agenda there? If you go back to that webinar, it's available on YouTube. Show me one sentence which says that you should basically go for. And every time I use the word "if," idea was of that webinar to educate. Which sectors are going to get benefit out of that? And if you believe in what that I'm analyzing, you go ahead. Otherwise, you throw that analysis in the dustbin. I'm not forcing you to do what I'm doing. My job is to come and tell you what we believe is likely to happen. If you don't subscribe to that, it's fine. There is nothing. No, no compulsion there, sir. But you know. Propaganda channel and these are. It's your opinion. I don't subscribe to that opinion, sir. Markets, mojo. If you go through our journey, we have always remained neutral. We will speak what we believe is right or wrong. You should read some of our go through our webinars, some of our blogs also, where we relay this is not right. We said that. For government, against government, because ultimately our job is to give a very objective analysis to our uh, 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 our our investors, and the complete webinar was relating to investment, nothing to do with the politics. I don't know why you are basically mixing that, but of course you are entitled to have an opinion. It's a democratic country. I fully respect that. Oh, we say, he is saying, can we have another similar session on global market if Trump comes to power? <laughs> Sir, we don't uh, uh, have. We have never done that. Uh, uh, for what happens in U.S., what happens in Germany, what happens in it is a uh, uh, useless exercise. Why I am saying so? What is your exposure to the U.S. market as an investor? Maybe zero or maybe five to ten percent, not more than that. I am saying. Chief. And it will not be of an area of interest to many uh, in the webinar. Uh, so we don't uh, basically, if whether Trump comes to power, see what I realize is that uh, uh, you know this kind of an analysis. If uh, I don't, I don't do what is the manifesto of Trump, uh, uh, and if he comes to the uh, this one, what could impact that would be? And many times, you know, you make so many statements during election time, and how much you are able to walk the talk. We have all seen that, am I right? If I distinctly rec recollect, Trump was supposed to be the anti-market, and hence Trump coming to the power is not supposed to be. But you look at what happened after Trump uh, uh, in four years uh, tenure of Trump, market did reasonably well during Trump's tenure. So sometimes it's difficult, you know, to uh, go with the sentiment and and then basically say this is what. But Abhi Singh sir, I don't think we'll be able to uh, uh, accept your request at this point of time. Sanjay Kumar, uh, I have the best regards for you, but don't subscribe to your idea of promoting BJP party on this forum. Okay, you might have an own belief and line line linings. You may be liking. I strongly believe that the great stress is building in the. Society due to lack of job opportunity, retail inflation, which is going to be badly affect the business and economy in coming years. Everything is not so rosy and promising. 
वी हैव द लार्जेस्ट डेमोग्राफी एंड डाइवर्सिटी नॉट लिमिटेड टू फ्यू बिजनेस ग्रुप्स ओनली आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव ऑटर्ड ए सिंगल वेल वर्ड विच प्रमोट्स बीजेपी हाउ डू यू नो दैट आई हैव ए लाइकिंग फॉर बीजेपी इट्स यूर अजमसन एम आई राइट डू यू नो विच पार्टी और विच कैंडिडेट डू आई वोट फॉर यू डोंट नो so that's your assumption and you are saying you know the stress is building in the society and so on and so forth maybe your opinion which may be right so me one agency national or global that says that india is not going to grow very recently imf and imf mein koi saga wala nahi lagta hai imf has revised india's gdp from 6.4% to 6.8% for fy 2025 so me one global agency forget aur aapko to india ko lagega bas india wala hai kuch bhi bol deta hai वर्ल्डबर्ग हैज़ नो कंपल्सन ओ एस सी डी हैज़ नो कंपल्सन आई एम एज नो कंपल्सन सम ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कंसल्टेंसी फॉर्म इन द वर्ल्ड दे हैव नो कंपल्सन टू अपडेट इंडियाज जी डी पी फोरकास्ट और वो इनफैक्ट इंडिया वॉज ऑन कंपेयर एज ए फ्रेजाइल फाइल आपको शायद मेमोरी याद नहीं होगा तो बता दो संजय कुमार सर Indian economy was under put under fragile file. No one talks about fragile file now, India. It's not. I am making a statement. The national international agencies are saying India would be among the fastest growing economies in the world. So, I don't understand, sir. Uh, uh, you know, where is this? Uh, uh, the disconnect between this one, yeah, there will be di- an unemployment uh, 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 issue. In fact, India's retail, retail inflation has been quite low. If you look at the inflation, compare India's inflation with the with with the historical, we are doing a decent job in that front. So, but anyway, we are we are we we bound to have a different opinion because we are human. There is nothing wrong with that, uh, but. Uh, I I agree to disagree with you, sir. Uh, Kishore is saying, "Yes, only let us ignore the political comments of individual MM is doing a great job. Please take value a question, which will benefit all. Thanks a lot, sir. We will take, sir. This is a democratic country. And and you know what may look relevant to you may not look relevant to someone else, and vice versa." in a democratic setup we should be offered open for criticism also another point of view also because it's always good to have a a healthy debate in life am i right uh, if you come to our uh, uh, group leader meeting each one comes from a different kind of a uh, background each one has a different point of view and and we we debate and deliberate uh, very intensively Uh, uh you know where mohit is there joyson is there i am there our chief technology officer is there our deputy ceo is there and so on and so forth and we discuss we deliberate very aggressively because that's the way uh, uh, you know the healthy culture should be in 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 whether it's an organization in a society in a country to be welcome so that's why uh, and i've given a clear cut instruction to army do not shy away from taking a question that may be negative to us at least we must know and we must reflect on those maybe sometimes sometimes someone someone criticizes may have a very valid point and if something which we need to learn we are open to learning on this kind of stuff so thanks a lot sir for your comment but prasad sir sir infrastructure energy and different sectors energy trading at a very expensive level do you think this sectors are your worth to invest Yes, sir. We do believe uh, this sector has a great potential. I think somewhere market has not fully discounted the growth opportunity in India. See, remember, 
this geopolitical tension is going to force everyone to increase the defense expenses whether we like it or not and india has an ambition not only to become indigenize uh, the our defense uh, that's that's we import from but also export our defense items so i think it's a great opportunity infrastructure if china 1 plus 1 policy has to play out we need to spend a huge amount of infrastructure why because our logistic cost has to come down to make it uh, uh, the world competitive and remember uh, the cheap labor and so on and so forth india cannot rely on that why i am telling you a simple example and today i was discussing again that you know this artificial intelligence is going to bring down the difference of cost arbitrage very significantly the the artificial intelligence now is going to make you know it will get lot of productivity gain in the system and that because of the productivity gain the labor cost as a percent total component will come down drastically and hence my sense is that in next 5 years there is nothing called a cheap labor as a concept why because a lot of things will be done either by robotics or by artificial intelligence and i was discussing you know today to write one program you need 10 coders the software engineer three years down the line we may need only two uh, for for the 10 this one the the money that you are saving which will be forced to pass on because everyone else was be doing and due to that the productivity is going to get increased so much so uh, my sense is that uh, we need infrastructure we need uh, this one to really up the otherwise there is nothing called china plus one strategy if you don't have a good infrastructure umakant uh, sunil sunil sir you are good at answering all question very technically sometimes we need to ask some pointed questions on market mojo commitments given to the clients for which we need dr mohit batta also to appear in webinar could you please request dr mohit batta to attend at least one webinar per month i think this is a fair question request which you can pass it on to him definitely sir we will pass on but sir what is the pointed question that you uh, uh, need from our side and we'll be more than happy to answer those uh, uh uh fail questions but uh, of course definitely i'll ask uh, uh, mohit uh, to see if you ask me a question and mohit is uh, on the call right now uh, of course i can't take his call but uh, 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 he is there definitely i'll pass on this message to you to message to him uh mani rajapati what would be your view on the market if ndb bjp wins the election with similar or even just slightly better than now assuming the all other factors remaining the same so we has stated uh, in january 2024 very clearly that bjp winning election is not a bull event i think is already there in the price so we don't believe uh, that market is going to read it because of bjp uh, uh, winning the election i think at that point of time what is a geopolitical situation what are the things i think that's going to decide what happens to them so i don't think uh, 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 bjp winning the election is a big big uh, positive event as we speak a uh, delayed new stock sent into the mcs mci index are expected to do announce soon can you shed some light on the ex- extent to how inclusion of stock in this list can positively impact the f- its fortune does markets will affect this into stock and portfolio picks to so dilip sir let me answer the second part of the question first no we don't factor in this kind of a uh, uh, uh. see our ip is completely uh, you know uh, uh, sale so, uh, doesn't relate to the the news that comes out uh, because not necessarily that what get included in msci index is likely to perform well and there are various examples available that uh, you know uh, the company after be, be forming a part of the index may turn out to be a dampener in the sense in the sense it doesn't perform as much as was supposed to perform because sometimes the company is coming into the index only when the company is doing very well you will never see any index constituents 
will introduce the company as a part of the index when it is not doing well normally company comes forms a part of the index only when it is doing very well isn't it so sometimes it may underperform and if it is so easy ki jo company index mein aane wale usko le lo to for you don't need any fund manager you become you can become basically everyone can generate the alpha so it's not really straight line kind of stuff it like correlation ki company aaya to acha hai and in our ip we don't have any kind of a, a factor basically we put it this way Uh, Vishal Sunil sir, as per your guidance and our IP suggestion, when should I start phase buying in our modern portfolio and strong buy stocks? Uh, what the strategy I use for buying means is how tranche I should buy these stocks. I want to invest seven lakhs. So Vishal sir, my sense is that if you are for investing for uh, long term, go ahead and buy uh, phase buying. Just be very careful while selecting the small cap followed by mid cap. But if you are investing in a large cap, go ahead and buy. Don't have to worry too much about it. See, I'll tell you in our PMS, uh, uh, we are today almost 90 percent large cap. Very few uh, percentage in mid cap. We don't have anything in small cap. So that's what we are, uh, are doing. So we do expect market to remain little uh, upside. Looks like very limited. So uh, and you can't time the market. So what we have done, started doing is that we have basically moved to the large cap. Having said that, we did introduce. a triple a strategy in our uh, pms that is systematic staggered strategy what we are doing in that is that uh, we will invest 50% of the amount in 0 to 60 days and balance 50% anywhere between 61 to 120 days this is not cast in the stone but uh, uh, you know right now that's what we have stated to our customers and depending on the market condition we are going to uh, 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 readjust this Having said that, if we are exiting any company, are we also putting triple strategy for phase by? The answer is no. So suppose if we are exiting from ABC Limited, that whatever profit comes, and if uh, uh, we will go go ahead hundred percent invest, uh, reinvest that amount immediately. Only this logic is being applied when the uh, new account is being opened up. That's how we have been doing it. So maybe something similar you can also apply with the model portfolio Mojo stocks. uh dhimendra is saying whether there are stocks available which can multiply by 10 times in 10 years and how to identify where market mojo provides that kind of a service so dhimendra sir there will be many stocks which will multiply 10 times in 10 years so probability 100% there how to identify and whether market provide that kind of a services so sir we do have a so as you know that uh, markets mojo uh, does not believe in buy and hold strategy it basically purely works on the the ip how to identify them it's not easy sir had it been so easy to sab log ka paisa ban jata na itna easy nahi hota na life mein kuch bhi cheez and, and and hence what we do sir we do have a screeners in our website you can use screener to identify those stocks now probably is very so you know see remember there is a, always a if you select 10 stocks with whatever analysis you do okay there will be two stocks that could be multi bagger and even if that two stocks become multi bagger your job is done why because your cag are overall on the 10 stocks portfolio will be much higher am i right so what you should do i mean the sir don't think that me 10 stock lunga 10 10 stock multi bagger banenge nahi hone wala hai wo to rakesh junjun wala sir ka nahi hua tha वॉर एन बुफे का नहीं हो जाए तो आपका भी नहीं होगा लेट्स बी प्रैक्टिकल अबाउट इट तो वॉट यू शुड डू यू शुड यू अपलाइन इट्स नॉट ईजी आई मस्ट यू हाउ टू एडम इज नॉट ईजी यू कैन हैव टू डू पॉइंट ऑन कॉम्बिनेशन हैज दैट बीन सो ईजी आई वु नॉट बीन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एम आई राइट बिकॉज आई बी ओनिंग सम आईलैंड समवेयर इन द इन द इन द इन द सम ऑफ द यूरोपियन कंट्रीज एंड एन्जॉइंग माई लाइफ बट आई एम एवरी डे इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एम आई राइट सो इट्स नॉट सो ईजी लेट मी टेल यू लेट बी बी प्रैक्टिकल अबाउट इट बट रिमेंबर out of 10 stocks only one or two can be a multi bagger if you are lucky in fact warren buffett has said that even if he is able to identify one multi bagger in 4 years or 5 years he will consider himself as a lucky humko to every stock that we want to buy is bold to be a multi bagger to so practical possible nahi hai 
so that's how it should be so yes possible but it's very difficult to identify only in a hindsight one realize that this company was a multi bagger and you missed an opportunity so normally multi baggers are those stocks which are not in demand today in other words you should search for those companies which are out of fashion out of uh, demand but has a great management and is a great business that can create lot of wealth for the investors Uh, Priyanka, dear Sunil sir, uh, uh, Sunil dear sir, thanks a million for covering elections. I know I am not a pro BJP or anti Congress, but one thing we all must appreciate the free disbursement of food is the mass population instead of allowing grains not to rot in FCI go down. For this single initiative of this government, may heads off to you and the government with my profound regards. So Priyanka ji, if you go to my uh, webinar, the first slide that was about the manifesto talk about this, and I, that's where I said. once you start giving freebies it's very difficult for any government to take it out and that somewhere you know i'm not very great fan of freebies culture i must tell you that also i said that in the so even though people blame me that i was pro bjp and in fact i started with the negative things when people have a very short memory and sometimes when your mind is fixated you will not look at the thing which i have stated so i do believe see you know when you give free things you know uh, somewhere we are not creating a right culture because you know uh, for reason for me to work get reduced am i right there is no reason for me to step out and out of my comfort zone to make me happy or me grow or my family grow in terms of standard of living it was needed during covid time one can understand it is still needed i think it's a debatable and that's why i said i'm not a very big fan of uh, freebies uh, so uh, yes now the one would say grain going rotting in the fci go downs but there are always ways you know uh, one can find uh, this one so and 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 i i must tell you that no other government in the now future governments will have a guts to remove this uh, to i think this freebies of free ration i think will continue for many many years to come whether this government or any other government because this is a very unpopular and if the moment you try to remove it it will cost you very dearly in terms of the ward banks uh suren suren tandar raju what is the best time to invest friends first how in chances or wait for another one or two months so what we are doing in pms sir uh, i can explain maybe that can help you what we are doing 50% we are going to invest in 0 uh, to 60 days and balance 50% in 61 to 120 days and uh, you know depending on the market condition that 50% will get allocated in first two months and the balance 50% next post that two months that's what the strategy that we have developed maybe something similar you can do sir to help you uh, do that for the fresh tranche if you already invested then we are uh, you know even if you are selling something we are Im investing immediately so we are not so when you increase allocation to equity we are doing in a gradual manner that's what we are doing right now maybe something similar also you can apply in your uh, fresh investment sir there is one person in hindi language le lijiye hindi mein le lijiye badri narayan sir sir is webinar mein participant ko bjp manifesto se kaun se sector ko benefit hoga इस वेबिनार को पॉलिटिकल कलर दिया आप दिया है मेरे ख्याल में यह आप ड्यूटी है आप एक वेबिनार लोगों के अपने पर्सनल इमोशंस पॉलिटिकल इमोशंस सोशल इमोशंस कमर्शियल इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्ट के साथ मैक्स ना करें मिक्स ना करें इसीलिए करना चाहिए क्या हम लोग मार्केट में मोदी जी के गवर्नर बनने की तो इन्वेस्ट नहीं करेंगे ना तो भैया मोदी जी आए तो कहाँ इन्वेस्ट करें और राहुल जी को एक लाख खाता कर देंगे तो कहाँ इन्वेस्ट करें ये पहले से ही जानना अपने हित में है तो बद्री नारायण सर आपकी बात बहुत सही है आ, आ, उसको पॉलिटिकल कलर दिया ना जाना चाहिए काम है कि भाई गवर्नमेंट कोई भी आए अगर वो गवर्नमेंट आती है तो कैसे कहाँ पैसे बनाने चाहिए और कैसे अपनी स्ट्रेटेजी होनी चाहिए वही है हमारी ये हमारा एक ध्येय था वेबिनार करके कि भाई है तो क्या करना चाहिए किधर पैसा 
डाल के कहाँ पैसा बनने की संभावित होना है तो आपकी बात से मैं पूरी तरह सहमत हूँ बद्री नारायण जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने ये सवाल उठाने के लिए राजन सेट्टी वी नो इन इंडिया इन साइड इन्फो सेल्स अदर नंबर ऑलरेडी लिख आउट इज द कमिंग फ्रॉम फील्ड ऑफ बींग कलेक्टेड इन कंपनी सो बिफोर द रिजल्ट आर ऑफिशियल डिक्लेयर द स्टॉक इज ऑलरेडी मूवड अप और डाउन सो वॉट इज द पॉइंट इन वेटिंग द रिजल्ट इन यू आर एनालाइजिंग एंड देन रिकमेंडिंग द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ग्रोथ और फोल इन द टॉप लाइन बोटन डज नॉट टेक मच रॉकेट साइंस वॉट कैन मेक मार्केट मोजो डू ऑल्सो बिसाइड्स हैविंग द आई पी Even ground team getting a hand on these figures and saying ahead of the game. So the city sir, I agree with your argument for the for the time being. We have seen fund houses. They analyze the data. They meet the management. They do the secondary check, and so and so forth. Am I right? And based on that, they make investment in a company. Now, logically, when you do this kind of a work, you should not be going wrong with your decision. If that is so, why this fund manager is underperform? After the sub kuch kya? If I if what you are saying is right, and assume that results into alpha, to to kalak baat hogi. I don't agree with your first part of question, but let me uh, handle one by one. The reason is that I'll give you a classical example. I don't want to name that one gentle, but one of the leading fund manager invested in one of the footwear company, and his own logic and reasoning. Nothing wrong with that, but when you analyze too much, you know you get married to the company. Then your human emotions will not allow you to. Get out of the company, despite you know that it's not doing very well. I'll give you another classic example. Like a very famous personality had invested in one of the FMCG company, and when some smell of that corporate governance came, this famous personality did not exit from that company. Eventually, the company got delisted. so my point is that the moment you don't have a system in place and when human emotions comes in there is a high probability that you will go wrong and that's one of the reasons most of the active fund manager underperform i said most of not all what does the ip helps us it has defined a complete framework for us and once you do that framework probability of you doing better goes up substantially high and that's what been demonstrated by markets mojo with his ip in terms of generating alpha over a longer period of time now let me take up to the first part of your question mr sethi sir you are basically saying that this indian market is an insider market every information get leaked Assume what we are saying is right, then there should not be a reaction to the post result to the company. Am I right? Then why should the company should fall by five percent or ten percent? Why should the company should go up by ten percent post result? Sir, ये नहीं होता है. कोई information leak होती नहीं है. आपकी एक समझे. It used to happen in the past. I am not saying it is not happening, but even it is happening, it happening in the far in few cases. i think cb has become very very vigilant in terms of uh, because they understand who bought how much quantity they bought just before the result and so on and so forth so i don't agree with your statement sir that it's a insider trade hota hai usse coach hota hai leak ho jata hai information i have not come across kaisa koi information leak hota hai agar aapke paas aata hai to i think you should be very very careful sir if you are going to buy and sell because cb will soon come come down on you And and can put you in a trouble. Uh, uh, so in the sixteen, the president was trying to be ahead of the curve by investing ahead of the others and make entry to lowest stock. 
it is for the individual to take a call or ignore it. I see that way. Thank you for listing out the sectors. That's precisely the reason, Suhinder sir, you are right, absolutely dot on. That's what, exactly what I said. और नहीं आपको व्यू नहीं अच्छा लगता तो मत फॉलो करो सर मैं खुद ही आपको जबरदस्ती कर रहा हूँ कि आप उस मेरी व्यू को फॉलो करो एग्जैक्टली माई जॉब वॉज टू विथ माई लिमिटेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई सेट इन केस इफ दैट्स गोइंग टू हैपन दीज आर द सेक्टर्स यू कैन बाई विच विल गिव यू सम काइंड ऑफ ए फर्स्ट मोर एडवांटेज दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वॉज द प्रिसाइज द आई सेट इन दैट वेबिन सो यू आर डॉट ऑन सुरेंद्र सर कैन यू गॉट द पॉइंट एंड द एंड द थीम ऑफ माई वेबिन आर वेरी लाउड एंड क्लियर Sam said that technically and legally, you may not have talked about in favor of political party. History shows that more manifesto and actuals and more of follow promise and less keeping promises. You cannot deny that you did the task of giving your interpretation on BJP manifesto on your YouTube channel. It is investors' choice to listen or not to, and whom to what. Perfectly, uh, you are right. Absolutely, uh, uh, you know, my job is to tell you the investment thesis. I never said you vote for political A party or political B party. I never said that, not a single thing. And I also again use the if BJP, if BJP comes to the power, and people do make political party job is to make promises. Show me one political party will not make promises, and of course, out of hundred, no political party, not in India, other parts of the world also. सब प्रमिस तो कोई फुलफिल नहीं करता है द ओनली चॉइस इज दैट कोई फिफ्टी करता है कोई फोर्टी करता है कोई थर्टी करता है कोई ट्वेंटी करता है कोई टेन करता है नथिंग कोल हंड्रेड परसेंट कोई भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी कोई पॉलिटिक्स में आप आ ही नहीं सकते सर्वाइव नहीं कर पाओगे आपका सब कुछ आपको जो करना है वो तो करता है तो इट्स इंटरप्रिटेशन आपको नहीं अच्छा लग रहा है थ्रो इट इन द डस्टबिन आपको कुछ समझ में आया उसको फॉलो करो and it's all and there is no forcefully that someone has to follow what we are saying in fact there is no see i can understand that i did not disclose the the topic of the webinar i disclosed the topic of the webinar loud and clear and you chose to come in that webinar and then you put an allegation is not right am i right i can understand if i would have not disclosed the web, topic only i did say that based on manifesto which sector looks promising Am I right? So we were transparent in that sense, and you chose to come because you thought that it's a it's a it's a useful webinar. Now after ten, you believe it's not usually useful. Leave it that way. Hamid, a lot of questions. Hello. Yes, sir. So we'll take last two. This is the second last and one more because I need to go out for dinner today. Can you please arrange a one special webinar on economic prospects of India? If BJP wins, if Congress elects wins, irrespective of whatever making the comment at the final, obviously we are going to discuss, analyze as professional, unbiased uh, on economic prospects of India. See the what I've realized, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever political party, whichever political party comes, I think everyone wants India to grow. If a political party comes, it will grow at X. If B political party comes, it will still grow, maybe X minus one. If C party political party comes to the power, it may still grow at X plus one. You know, kind of a thing. See that lot of tailwinds that is there with the Indian economy. One is the demographic dividend. People aspire to grow big. If you ask me, when I was uh, studying in my school, aspiration level ही बहुत कम थे. Of course, it was a very close economy. Okay, किसी को बोले धंधा चालू करने के लिए तो ये भी said, I am very happy if I get a government job because secured है. Today, the today's youngsters want to start business. They want to start uh, uh, startups. They want. They don't want to be employed. They want to be employer. See the mindset change. people want to spend money previously in my generation people would try to save money because you are not very sure of your future today's generation want to spend more than what they have because they are very sure that they'll be able to earn and will be able to sustain that 
so you look at that kind of a thought process so yes you are right we will i think one special webinar we'll do economic prospects let let that be the the post election will we give a summary of what uh, some of the experts in the world are saying how india will be able to grow and I, there are a lot of data available if you google search it a lot of data available from various uh, recognized or world renowned institute about how india can grow and what space india can grow so last question and if required we will again uh, carry forward this on a next question answer on tuesday professor okay sir can you comment on the rise of gold price recently what could be the projection influence of growth and us rate cut in next 18 months so professor sir uh, if you go back to our webinar on 1st january 2024 we did mention that silver and gold looks promising to us we do expect them to give returns in double digit and we continue to maintain we do believe that gold still has a lot of steam left uh, from this level and hence it will make money uh, gold us rate cuts in next 18 months right now the us rate cut seems to be little uh, low as we speak and hence as and when uh, we get more clarity we'll be able to but also i have observed there is no correlation between us rate cut and the gold prices you know it used to be in the past but that correlation seems to be now uh, tapering off so not necessarily if there is a rate cut uh, the gold price should go up and vice versa am i right so that's what it so with this thanks a lot to everyone taking time out and attending this webinar have a great weekend enjoy uh, don't uh, attribute too much color to this political uh, this one is purely a investment based webinar am i right with this have a great time enjoy but please do what Uh, uh whichever party you like whichever candidate you like okay i am nobody to influence you i cannot influence you also i am not that big that i can become an influencer to you you people are more sensible than me and hence please but do vote that's what my request to all of you good night take care